When light enters into the eye, it first passes through the cornea, the protection of the eye. Then through the pupil, a small opening. The colored part of your eye, the iris, dilates and constricts in response to light intensity. Next is the lens. That focuses and projects light rays and projects them onto the retina. The lens goes through the process of accommodation, which the eye lens changes and bends to focus on objects near or far on the retina. In the retina, there are cones and rods. Cones are photoreceptors in the retina that detect fine details and colors in daylight. Cones are grouped in the fova, the central focus where accuracy is the higher, highest. Rods are photoreceptors in the retina that allow black and white vision in low light. They're not in the fovea. Bipolar cells connect and transmit information from the rods and cells to the ganglion cells, which receive the info and transmit it to the brain through the optic nerve. The optic nerve then carries these messages to the thalamus, where it directs the message to the appropriate cortex for processing. The thalamus sends the visual information to the visual cortex located in the occipital lobe. When information is traveling through the occipital nerve, it has to pass through the optic chiasm, the part of the brain where the optic nerve fibers cross. The visual info from the right gets transmitted to the left occipital lobe. And the visual information from the left gets transmitted to the right occipital lobe. Towards the back of the eye where the optic nerve leaves the eye, there is an area with no receptor cells. This is known as our blind spot. Some nerve cells called feature detectors in the cerebral cortex respond to specific visual features like shape, movements, and angles. Lastly, there are two theories in which color vision happens. First, the trichromatic theory that occurs in the retina. This is when the retina contains three different color receptors sensitive to red, blue, and green, and when simulated in combination, we can perceive colors. The second theory being the opponent process that occurs in the ganglion cells and the cells in the thalamus and visual cortex. This theory explains the opposing retinal display, uh, opposing retinal process, black and white, yellow and blue, and red and green enable color vision. Cones are grouped in the fova, the central focus where accuracy is the higher, highest. Rods are photoreceptors in the retina that allow black and white vision. In low light, they're not in the fovea. Bipolar cells connect and transmit information from the rods and cells to the ganglion cells, which receive the info and transmit it to the brain through the optic nerve. The optic nerve then carries